Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We're gonna be playing more Viego into Mr. Graves. Probably a Graves favorite matchup nowadays. Kraken Slayer nerf. But we're not building that no more. Give me damage. Give me damage or give me death, okay? Blade of the Rune King all day, every day. I'm over it. I'm over Kraken Slayer. I don't care if it works. The item mostly stinks. It's it's just so slow. I don't know. With Viego, it can work, don't get me wrong. Your Q has current HP damage. I just don't think it works. I don't know. Feels bad. For the runes, we got the world's most basic. We got the Min's 4 haircut as the runes. We got Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Coop, Magical Footwear, Cosmic, Insight. Thank you. Yes. Yes, I'll have the Min's 4. No, not the bowl cut. No, not the fade. I'll just I'll just take that where it's it's kind of short and then has a little hanging off. Thank you. Yes, thank you. For our jungle path here, we want to get all of our camps as Viego. This will stay true up until the point that you're over ramped. So the ramp is that you get all your farm and then you do a play and it's successful and then you get stronger. This will speed up the whole process of the full clear for Mr. Viego. And if you get juiced enough, then you can just stop farming entirely. Somewhat. Until then, we need our gold, we need our XP, we need our levels. And mostly with Pathing Bot side, I'm not looking for any particular play. What I'm looking to do is attack the enemy when they make a mistake or overreach. Now this Irelia is super low. Although I don't have my E, it is what it is here. Get him, kick his ass. There's the stun. W. Uh-huh. W, bob up, Q, moving. It's not bad damage. Pick me Victor mid. Right, so I was going to path bot side because I figured Graves would be pathing down. That guy is pathing right up to top side, which is super weird. He's going to be a little bit faster on the clear now that I've had to walk from my red side to mid lane back to my red side. Good luck, Mr. Jace. But now that puts me on the bot side for this turn and next turn. So if Graves doesn't play bot side, that could just be a dragon stack for us. And with our lanes, with how slow everything is, that's honestly fine with me. Now the enemy bot lane has pushed mine in and then taken their time to ward that tri brush, so we're gonna move this way instead. Phew. We're gonna move this way into the river to collect our scuttle crab. And then whenever you're building towards the bork, you need this 900 gold reset that you get from a full clear and a scuttle crab, because you'll be able to afford. That's right, the pickaxe. 25 AD. No pickaxe, no gameplay. Ward for Mr. Graves. I guess I'll hover around here as I'm resetting, but there's not a real way to attack that Irelia until she goes in. Wow. Wow. Yeah, she's not committing and we don't have time to spin. My Gromp is already back up. So if the play's not happening right when you show up to a gank like that, don't cancel your recall. Don't wait around. Not when Gromp is waiting for you at home. She's been waiting all day. I told her I was going to kill her at 420 and it's already 442. I'm late. Oh, and another guy is coming taking my Gromp. Who's to really to blame? Me or the guy? I mean, I might have done the same. It's going to take me another camp to get level 5 now. Mr. Victor going to die. Easier said than done with the gank here. I'm going to approach from left side. Now, she wants to kill these minions, right? Mr. Bard. Nice, WQ. My kill, my kill. Hold the wave, big man. Alrighty, I'll hold the wave. Back to the camps. Holding the wave helps the victor. Since the victor totally died and Irelia was low enough, then I could clean up the kill. Yo, I mean, it feels stupid even saying, when Emmy Low want to go kill them instead of farming to camp? Subscribe more League of Legends tip. Let's start this dragon. My bot lane will eventually have the push here. And that's a Soraka and a Kog'Maw, so yeah, let's start this dragon. Three points in our queue, pickaxe, we'll do this dragon at a fine pace. I can almost assume that the Graves is on the top side too, since he was pathing up earlier. 
This will give me a good amount of XP as well. Help me get to that level 6. Bye bye. The enemy bot lane's under turret, so let's clean up those Krugs and get a reset off. I got a Gromp to get home to. Honey, I know I was unfaithful, and I know that I did wrong, but I just want you to give me one more shot. Come on. I know those other guys say that I'm a noob, but I'm here to prove to you that I am in fact not, and I am actually Pog. Recurve bow, longsword. We're going to spend most of our time clearing here. So the attack speed is a super important stat. Super underrated. The more attack speed, the more hits. You really only need about 20 AD. Like, remember the Noom Quiver, right? 20 AD. At least the components, 20 AD and then that attack speed. That's what we're doing here. So we get a longsword and a recurve bow. Anyhow, this guy's level 6. Oh, what do you have to lose, man? I know, I know. I know, I know. I know, I know. Q. Pop up, moving. Pop. Q. Irelia does not have any mana. W. Pop up, Q. Pop up. Pop. The worst invade ever, question mark? Now, the thing that we did there was that we played it slow. And that gives my laners time to respond. Whether they're pushed in or not, it's always going to take some time, so. You know what they say. Better slow than strictly dead to Graves and Irelia because you walked into them. That's what they say. Let's clear our camps down. Now, although we just got some pretty good juice right there, some exceptional juice, we're going to need more. That's right. Whenever we're building towards this Blade of the Rune King, Viego's a very thirsty guy. He needs a whole bunch of fucking gold. This thing's 1,200 away. So yeah, we'll keep clearing the camps. And then as soon as we get that bad boy, we want to reset. I barely care what's happening on the map. It better be important. Because Graves is sitting on Serrated Dark, and I'm sitting on bullshit until I complete the entire board. So me kill camp and me reset board. Me so good. Once we complete that... It not only accelerates our 1v1 potential, our gank potential, it also increases our clear speed. The mist edge passive applies to the camps, and the damage was recently buffed as well in patch 14.10. So we'll reset here, just go right back to our Krux, continue our clear. Bork, Sweeper, Control Ward, Anima Penguin, off we go. Blade of the Ruined King, giving us 55 AD, 30% attack speed, and 10% lifesteal. With the passive Mist Edge, deal 9% enemy current HP, uh, yeah, current HP physical damage. And once you hit them three times, you slow them. If you call now, you can get your own for only $9.99. Let's get into the river. Thank God I wasn't a salesman. Thank God I was born when the internet's a thing, you know? Imagine if your career is the telephone salesman guy. Dive bot lane. Soraka is roaming. Ulti turret. Kill the ADC. Hurry up. So with the board completed, it gives us way more burst damage like this. Check it out. W smite. Auto Q. Bop up. Bop up. E. Bop. Bop Q. Nice. On to Soraka. Yeah. Yeah. Kick your ass. E Q. Ulti. Moving. Oh. Become a penguin. I got... I got stopped. Flash ulti. Listen, not my best work, but we got it done. You got any wolf for me? Q. Damn, damn, damn. My camps are probably gone, but it's okay. I'm not going cross country here. I want to reset and get my ninja tabby. These are very big. Ninja tabby, control ward. This gives us our movement speed, and it gives us our defense. Armor and reduced damage from auto attacks. Big against Irelia, Graves, and Kogma. To the top side, I'll clean up whatever camps are here and we're playing for Dragon. The Void Grubs don't really matter. They're alright. They're alright. Maybe I'll take a Void Grub or two. If I had to contest Graves for him though, whack. Diego's one of the few champs though where I actually like completing the boots early. An enemy has been 
wood grubs, you can queue two of them and then apply the passive to both, autoing each one individually. Yeah, our clear speed's pretty good on this. It sucks that mid lane dies. Go ahead and smite this so I can get to mid lane sooner. I really should know what's up, but we'll see. That's Warden. We're skipping our camp so that I can play mid or try to attack them on Dragon. I really, uh, I love you. Moving. Auto. Q. Da da. W. Pop. Run. Q. I missed my stun. We gotta get out of there. Listen, if my bot lane's not playing for Dragon, then I guess I'll just farm my camps, which is kind of a shame. We could really play to outscale them, but now things are like dead even. I've gotten some Dragon. Graves has gotten some Void Grub. So we don't have to look for anything preemptive here. We simply farm our camps into position, and then if something happens, then we react. So, Q, smite, E, moving, smack, W. What is his flash? Control ward? I'm fine. He ultied over the wall here. That's the ninja tabby in work, man. No ninja tabby, no gameplay against Mr. Graves, I'm telling you. Uh... Yeah, Ruby Crystal. Glowing Moat. Give me whatever stats I can get here. I really a real champion. Oh! Okay, zap down. To the top side here. Graves took a couple of my red side camps, but that's okay. I have my ulti and he does not, so we're going to try to find him in his red side now. Do with my Bork, with my ulti, and with my Ruby Crystal and Glowing Moat. Hopefully I can kill him. You're already on Raptors? Shit. Well, we're not killing him like that, Bob. This man's a farming menace. Care. So now I will clear my camps down quickly. Oh, nice. I have smite. You do not. Waiting. Now, if I start my Gromp, it gets a bit dicey. Those wolves won't be spawning for a little bit, so all we can do is try to help Mr. Victor here. Irelia has a Bork and some change, so we have a chance. He's fine. I must have walked over wards, but we don't have time to spare. To the camps, quick. What is the deal here? Irelia walking in like she owns the place. Mr. Victor, you're never making it easy now, are you? So, Whoa. This whole area is warded, but it's honestly fine. We got Graves ulti once again. The main deal is whenever we go in, we're not fully committed. We're not diving towards the Irelia. We're seeing what's up until I see that Graves. And remember, they have a Soraka ulti. Then we're not going all in. Nice. So finally, finally, we're, we're doing what God intended here. We've cleared the camps. Check. And now we're in position in the river. <laughs> Walking over every ward that's ever, ever been placed here. E moving. I'm just going to walk right into him here. Auto Q, W. Bop, up. So, I have become Kog'Maw. EQ. Schmack. Ulti. You guys think I'm going to turn around? Alrighty, let's reset. Get some real items here. This next turn, the dragon's coming up, and that's pretty important. Graves has so many items, huh? Tunneler. A control ward. Well, at least we got some HP. Tunneler giving us 250 HP. And we're about to hit level 11. So with all this farming and all these plays, we've been trying to power up into the mid-game. We're almost entering there. It's whenever the turrets go down. And once you're in the mid-game, you simply want to be strong because you have less time to farm. Hold up. E. Q. Moving. Control ward. Auto. W. Pop up. Pop. Q. Pop. 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 Ulti. What? Sorty, Mr. Bard. Smite. A 
happy ending. Farm the camps quick. Anyways, you farm so much early because can't farm mid game and if weak mid game, uh, fighting and weak, very bad. If farm early game, strong, strong mid game, very good. Subscribe more League of Legends tip. Let's see. I'm like, look at Graves' items, man. A ghost blade, a BF sword, and two long swords. That's so much more AD than I got. Yeah, he's a carry champion, but come on, man. Buy boot or something. Oh? Huh? Maybe don't buy boot. Just get one shot by my mid laner. Well, Victor's doing a very good job against that Graves. So let's back him up here. E against the wall. Now they see us coming. W! Oh, good move. Don't chase, don't chase. Dragon, dragon. The Graves had to have reset probably, so... You want to do this dragon sooner rather than later. Guys. What the fuck is that? Wish me luck, Bob. Until their bot lane comes, we keep hitting this. Smite! Sir! Uh, run! Run! W and E away. Away from the enemy. Alrighty, job is done for now. We want to help our team contend with their waves now, with the camps being done and the objectives being done. My laners are going to go back to laning. If I can help them in any way, that's pretty beast. So let's go back into the river, see if the enemy wants to get crazy. I've already spent their time mid lane. Let's see if I can't find an Irelia right here. Smite. Auto. Q. Auto. 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 W. Oh, Q. Ulti. Q. Why is she so mobile? E moving. Auto. Q. Whoa. Back to base. I can be a bait here, actually. With Victor coming and then Bard around. Phew. Got me. Whoa. Whoa. Not one man should have all that damage. I'll be honest, I don't know how the hell I died. I got hit by the stun, and then here comes one Gerfillion damage. It's okay, though, because there's no objective, and neither me and Graves are farming. It's immediately traded to the victor. So if my carries are doing good here, then we're going to have a good time. You might want to be the main character, as Viego, early game into mid game, not super important. If your carries are winning, you're going to be able to kill one person. And if you kill one person, you win. You win as Viego. Alrighty, to the top side. We got Sundered Sky. 45 AD, 450 HP, 15 ability haste. Whenever you hit the enemy, you deal extra damage. And you heal a little bit. Mr. Graves has quite the farm lead, but... As all things jungle, we're even in XP. Time for me to finally farm some camps here. Especially after dying, it's so necessary that we farm. You moving. Now we can continue to play for the lanes for now, although that Baron is spawned. It's not like we just start the Baron. We have a lot of tools here. What are they, Bob? That's right. We got Control Ward. We got a Control Ward. We have a Rift Herald. And we have a Sweeper. So let's try to use it. Give everyone the red buff and off we go. If I stop for Krug, it's too slow. E, moving. Well, I kind of scared him off with that one. Try to take the blue buff here, and then we can drop the Rift Herald mid. They tried to attack my team bot side, and that didn't work. Mr. Graves, you are too low. Oh, good move. W, Q. Schmack, schmack, 
schmack. Ride this bad boy in. Good luck mid lane. Nice. Let's assist mid lane here if we can. Phew. Just passing through. Job is done. We don't have to stay. Charge in the W. Yeah. Really showed him who's boss, eh? Alrighty, job is done. The dragon's coming up. We'll drop our ward and then reset. I think it'd be best to play for Death's Dance here so we don't get one shot. We're gonna have to tank their carries. The Graves, the Irelia, and the Kog'Maw. They do deal magic damage, don't get me wrong, but the armor is just more useful in the early game. So, resetting on the map here, just trying to get out as fast as I can. Although that dragon's coming up, I wouldn't mind taking this. Okay. Nice. Oh! W, ulti. Awkward position to be in, though. Let's heal up, heal up off the camps quick. But well, Bob, I've pulled them all into me. What can I say? One thing that's super nice about the Bork is that we actually heal. Some berries, too. Don't mind if I do. Right. So I just try for a funny scuttle crab, and then boom, I'm flanked by the enemy bot lane. So I have to run away. I have to use every tool to E the W and the ulti to get away. If I was to stay and contest, I ain't gonna kill no one. Because I ran them into my bard, my victor, and my smolder, they pick up a kill. Alrighty, and that'll earn us the dragon. I'll go ahead and do my camps and reset. If we spend too much time on the bot side, then they could do the, the baron, so it's important that I don't show on that gank. To the top side. Another longsword. Let's see. So far, Bork has dealt 1,400. I can guarantee that's like twice as much as Kraken Slayer. Graves is bot side. E moving. W. Bop bop. Q. Slow. Q. W. Schmack. 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 Have some HP, big man. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Let's do Baron, boys. Mr. Graves! Oh, yeah. Pretty hard for anyone to follow up on that shit, but nice try. E, moving. Q. Alrighty, alrighty. Their team is spawning, but we still have some time to play with here. It's way better to do Baron because they have to walk all the way to the Baron to contest us. Rather than just in their base. Well, me and Jace have the right idea. Good luck everybody else. Yes, just buy time. By time, by time. Yes, uh, run. Q. Oh, okay. Literally zero confidence moving in there. I would have to use all my abilities into a Soraka. I just don't see that. Soraka was dead. Maybe I'm still so posting. 1400 until the death stance. But with that Baron buff, that gives us everything we need to seal the deal here. I can farm until my smolder spawns. So that's 12 seconds. So let's make a count here. It's all about the speed. 
But as soon as she spawns, we're sieging. We want to have reset, spend our gold, and be on the map. Death stance, and off we go. Ooh, a TP. This guy's out of his mind. Level 17 Jace. You would hope he doesn't need my help. Cute. See you later. Alrighty. Smolder, I'm coming. No captain, my captain. These guys are fighting bot side. The enemy bot lane is so crazy for moving around the map rather than receiving the wave. Since Smolder doesn't have Baron, it's important that I'm with her. And it just doesn't make sense what the enemy bot lane is doing. Death Stance basically gives us more survivability. Makes it where we can't be burst. Can't be bursted as easily, and it gives you some armor. <laughs> well, smack, smack, smack. Don't mind if I do. Fine to take a couple turret shots, because we'll heal it back up. E, moving. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, Nelly, I know how this one goes. Why is no one... Oh, the dragon's coming up, I see. Listen, if nothing's happening, you know, just don't commit to anything. That's the thing. Sweeper. Mr. Graves. If we commit to nothing, then we can react to everything. And that's way more beast when I can't exactly tell what my teammates are doing. Take the red buff and then we can play for that dragon soul, and that'll be that. Wow, I was like, dang, I'm kind of strong. I'm level 15. The Craves is level 16. Come on, man. Where did you get that from? Is it the 60 CS over me? Hmm. Well, Mr. Graves, I see your 60 CS lead, but watch as I even out in levels because I take a funny dragon. With my turbo winning team that I barely contributed to. Yes, outplay. Yes. Alrighty, and with Dragon Soul, as my team is pushing, I want to be near them. I don't have to be on top of them, but I want to be in the fog of war. And as the fight starts, I can react to it. Whoa, Nelly. Holy moly. Q. Smite. Smack. Q. Come on, Irel, you go in, I dare you. WQ. Waiting. Holy moly. Get a little flank. Q, W away. Pulling. Q, pulling. Ouchie, mama. I'm hitting the Nexus, I don't exactly care. Alrighty, final score, four, one, and six. Blade of the Rune King dealing 1,500, and Sunder Sky healing 200. We didn't even have to hit a bad guy. With winning lanes, that's the steps you take, okay? Don't have to get a billion kills. Don't have to make it too serious. With no mistakes and with proper positioning, it's just a free sail into a victory. Okie doke. That'll put us at Masters 18 LP. Final damage dealt 10,000. Did I do the most? Hey guys, did I do the most damage? Alrighty, GG. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Oh yeah, click the join button, or else I know where you live.